If you thought Biden, Schumer, Harris, and Pelosi were out of whack, then let's go over some of the ideas of New York Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is the rising socialist star in America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for AOC Luna C. Today we look at the congresswoman who is now said to be losing her quote-unquote Biden patience, asking these questions. Are we passing the deal that makes the most jobs? Are we passing a deal that brings down the most climate emissions? Are we passing a deal that raises wages and actually improves our infrastructure for the next generation? Well, most of us are losing our Biden patience because he's a bad president, not because he's doing too little for the left. That's true lunacy. Then there's another issue with AOC that's not full lunacy. Some on the right are actually applauding AOC. You heard that right. Why? Because she's bringing light to the concept that expanded highway construction now and in years past showed racial inequality. There's an interesting example of this in the history of the infrastructure in the Los Angeles region. If the powers that be had built the 10th freeway through what's now Fraternity and Sorority Row at USC, the university was prepared to sell its property and move to another location. In the mid-1920s, USC contemplated moving its site as well, but decided to stay right where they are. One of the reasons was what is now currently Frat and Sorority Row housed multiple consulates from foreign governments, making the location prestigious. USC made the decision to stay in its existing location just a few years prior to the building of the 10 freeway and undoubtedly had clout because of the promises made by the city government to keep them in place. And now we're told that the former Sugar Hill neighborhood is now a dump. It goes by West Adams. Sugar Hill was once a capital of black wealth and culture on the west coast, but the state built the freeway through it. There are other examples of roads being used to crush minority communities in Chicago, Nashville, Miami, seemingly everywhere. AOC is being applauded by some for saying construction of highways can have a disproportionate impact on communities of color from displacement and pollution, but she's being booed for proposed solutions that are surprise, surprise, too expensive and essentially impossible to implement. Oh well, it's still just a lot of Luna C.